Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Rebecca Pillay Riddell, and I'm Associate Vice President of Research, and I also have the honor of being your MC this afternoon. To begin our celebration, I would like to turn our attention before uh, to begin our celebration, sorry, I'd like to turn our attention to acknowledge the land in which we find ourselves today. As this event is virtual, we are not all gathered in the same space. I recognize that this land acknowledgement might not be for the territory that you are currently on. We ask that if this is the case, you take the responsibility to acknowledge the traditional territory you are on and the current treaty holders. As a member of the York University community, I recognize that many Indigenous nations have long-standing relationships with the territories upon which York University campuses are located that precede the establishment of York University. York University acknowledges its presence on the traditional territory of many Indigenous nations. The area known as Tikaranto has been taken, caretaken by the Anishinaabek Nation, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Huron-Wendat. It is now home to many First Nations, Inuit, and Métis communities. We acknowledge the current treaty holders, the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation. This territory is subject to the Dish with One Spoon Wampum Belt Covenant, an agreement to peaceably share and care for the Great Lakes region. Welcome, welcome to York's first virtual York, uh, research awards. Despite these uncertain times where we are working apart, it is a pleasure to be able to come together virtually to celebrate as a community. Today's event is an important annual research celebration hosted by York University's President and Vice Chancellor, Rhonda L. Lenton, and the Vice President of Research and Innovation, Amir Asif. Today, we not only want to acknowledge many of the tremendous successes and achievements of York researchers and academics who are un undertaking innovative scholarship, discovery, and artistic creation, we will also be awarding the York University President's Research Awards. These are the winners of the President's Impact Award, the President's Early Researcher Award, and the President's Research Excellence Award. Throughout today's celebration, we will be showcasing the winners from both 2019 and 2020. A few housekeeping matters to, to attend to first before we get into the celebration. The event is being live streamed to YouTube and is also being recorded. The recording will be available shortly after the event and the link will be circulated to all attendees and winners. Our beautiful programs that accompany the event are available online. There's a link beneath the YouTube feed. For everyone who is joining us today and seeking to share on social media, please tweet using the hashtag, hashtag Celebrate York University and the VPRI Twitter handle at YU Research. I would ask everybody to ensure that they have a glass of something to toast with at the end of the celebration. If you'd like to watch the event in French, please select the interpretation button at the bottom of your screen and switch the language to French. Closed captions are also available in both French and English, and the links to access this can be found in the chat. If you have any issues, technical issues throughout the event, please email yuevent at yorku.ca. That's y-u-e-v-e-n-t at yorku.ca. Throughout today's event, there will be several videos showcasing honorees. If anyone is in need of a fully accessible version of these videos, please email yuevent at yorku.ca. And our event staff will forward you to one, uh, to one of them after the event concludes. For those of you who are joining us via Zoom webinar, we welcome you to submit congratulations and kind, thoughtful words through the Q&A function to the honorees. Once received, the submissions will be reviewed and all appropriate comments will be published for everyone to enjoy. So without further ado, please allow me to introduce you to President and Vice Chancellor Rhonda Lenton. Thank you so much, Rebecca. And thank you to everyone, bienvenue à tous, for joining us this afternoon to celebrate the achievements of colleagues across the university who have demonstrated research excellence through their diligence, scholarship, and creativity. Over the past year, we have been reminded once again about the essential role that universities play in driving the research and innovation needed to tackle the complex global issues that we face, including inequality, climate change, and the pandemic itself. Researchers from around the world have come together to collaborate in being able to respond quickly 
and effectively in understanding the virus and its mirrored effects, predicting how it will spread and evolve and finding ways to safeguard ourselves against it. And the successes that we have seen so far in the battle against COVID-19 have been a powerful example of what can be achieved when we work together with partners from across sectors, borders, and disciplines in the pursuit of a common goal. The importance of this type of cross-sector global collaboration will only become increasingly paramount, especially as we work to mitigate geopolitical tensions. At York, impact is central to our success, and we remain deeply committed to supporting globally-minded researchers and scholars who work with colleagues across the government, industry, not-for-profit, and education sectors to make new discoveries that push the frontiers of scientific knowledge and address the world's most pressing challenges. And the researchers that we are honoring today are doing just that. From leading edge breakthroughs in bioengineering to pioneering research in refugee studies to innovative contributions to psychology and mental health, the researchers we are celebrating today have produced groundbreaking discoveries that advance our understanding of the world and address its greatest challenges. And so I want to take this opportunity to thank all of this afternoon's award winners, our research leaders, for their continued commitment to the university and to driving positive change in our local and global communities, both today and for our future. And I want you to congratulate them all once again on their outstanding achievements. Thank you, merci, miigwech. Thank you, President Lenton. Now it's my pleasure to introduce you to Vice President Research and Innovation, Amir Asif. Merci beaucoup, Becca. Thank you. Bon après-midi, mesdames et messieurs. Good afternoon, everyone. It gives me great pleasure to be here today at the York University Research Award celebration, where we are celebrating this year's winners as well as last year's. We have much to celebrate. I'm honored to recognize the remarkable achievements of these scholars and of our community. Congratulations, all. I would also like to mention that we have a newish Associate Vice President Research at this year's event, Jennifer Heinemann. She began in December 2020. Jennifer is the former director of the Center for Refugee Studies at York University, where she is a resident scholar. Prior to the inauguration of the Faculty of Environment and Urban Change, Jennifer was a professor in Liberal Arts and Professional Studies. She is a prolific scholar in areas related to social sciences and humanities. In her new role, Jennifer will help facilitate the promotion of strategic research development at York and lead the development of research policy that bridges the needs of researchers and the institution. In collaboration with the Office of EPRI and faculties, she will also help continue to track and build York's research performance providing leadership for York's organized research units and enlarge the university collaborative role with external stakeholders and communities with special emphasis on research areas covered by the Social Sciences and Humanities Research Council, SHRC of Canada, including arts, media, performance, and design. York's commitment to excellence in research is a core institutional value and the foundation on which our exciting academic environment is built. We are a research intensive university that's committed to enhancing the well being of the communities we serve. A driving force for positive change, we have an enduring commitment to critical inquiry and the pursuit of knowledge that comes from many differing perspectives and ways of knowing. I believe in the power of research, scholarship, creativity, education and dialogue to transform ourselves and the world around us for the better. At York, we combine groundbreaking scholarship, discovery and artistic creation with renowned strengths in community engaged, 
and industry partnered research for maximum social and economic impact. Building on our strength and expertise in sustainability, disaster and emergency management, health and health governance, artificial intelligence, social justice, and beyond, we have identified five areas of opportunity to further accelerate our research growth and success. Number one is digital cultures. Number two is healthy individuals, including healthy communities and global health. Number three is indigenous futurities. Number four is integration of artificial intelligence into society. And number five is public engagement for a just and sustainable world. These areas of opportunities are profiled in this booklet that accompanies this event. As I said, we have much to celebrate. I like to shine a spotlight on a few. Christina Petrovska Kuliko bestowed the Order of Canada in 2020. Sergei Krylov and Janet Walker, who became distinguished research professors in 2020. New to the Royal Society of Canada in 2020 are Benjamin Berger, John Grayson, Molly Lett Taylor, Mark Terry, Pri Wong, and William Wicken. I must, however, strongly emphasize that all those winners celebrated today have achieved a great deal. All are prestigious and highly valued by York University. Through this vital work, these scholars are fulfilling the university's mission and vision to advance academic and research excellence for the benefit of all. We are deeply committed to supporting our researchers and scholars and wish to extend our warmest congratulations and best wishes to all our research award winners this year for their continued success. Congratulations all. You are all change makers in every sense of the world. Have a wonderful day. Back to you, Rebecca. Thanks, Amir. So let's get on to the big awards of the, I want to say evening, but the afternoon. The first set of awards that we'll be giving out are the President's Research Impact Awards. The York University President's Research Impact Award recognizes full-time active faculty members whose body of research or scholarship has translated into a notable impact on communities, individuals, public policies, or practice beyond the academe or translated successfully into impactful commercial or other applications while significantly and positively contributing to the university's research culture and reputation. I now turn it over to President Rhonda Lenton to announce the 2020 PREA Award winner. Thank you, Rebecca. It is my great pleasure to present the winner of the 2020 President's Research Impact Award, Deborah Pepler. Department of Psychology, Faculty of House, was selected for this award for her innovative contributions to psychology and mental health in the areas of bullying, aggression, and violence, especially amongst marginalized children, youth, and families. In recognition of these contributions, Deborah was named an Officer of the Order of Canada by the Governor General. She is also the only psychologist recognized by the Canadian Psychological Association for distinguished contributions to both psychology as a science and public or community service. In 2007, she was recognized as a distinguished research professor. Deborah is a co-founder of PrevNet, a network of researchers, graduate students, and national organizations focused on promoting healthy relationships and eliminating violence. Deborah's groundbreaking research has made a profound impact on the lives of children, youth, and families across Canada. And I am pleased to congratulate her as the winner of the 2020 President's Research Impact Award. Unfortunately, Deborah was unable to join us for today's ceremony, but she has provided a short video message, which we will play for you now. Good afternoon, I'm sorry I can't be with you. I'm teaching a fourth year seminar at the moment, but we'll leave you with this message. That I'm honored to have received the President's Award for Research Impact. As I'm sure you can imagine, I share this award with many others. 
Since 1984, I have had the good fortune of being invited to, to conduct my research within clinical, educational, and community settings, including indigenous settings. In partnership with many experts on the ground, I've been able to pursue both basic and applied research. By listening to and working with those with firsthand expertise, I've been able to focus on research that has impact. I'm grateful for the Networks of Centers of Excellence program that provided funding to bridge research and practice for impact. For 14 years, I worked with Wendy Craig, my first doctoral student here at York, with NCE funding to co-create with partners and provide relevant evidence-based resources for practices through the Promoting Relationships and Eliminating Violence Network, which we call PrevNet. In closing, I encourage others to step into this space between science and practice. However, it takes a different, a more humble and relational approach to do this work. It takes recognizing that we at the university aren't the only experts and perhaps not even the best experts. Working to co-create with partners enables spark to fly at the interface of science and practice. And it ignites new questions, new methods, new interpretations, new directions, and new impacts. I thank you. Lovely words by Deb Pepler, um, a mentor of mine and someone I respect so great greatly. Now I'd like to turn to Dr. Asif to introduce the 2021 PREA winner. Thank you, Rebecca. It is my great pleasure to announce the winner of the 2021 President's Research Impact Award, also referred to as PREA. Carl E. James, Faculty of Education, is this year's recipient of the esteemed PREA Award. Carl holds the Jean Augustine Chair in Education, Community, and Diaspora, and is a senior advisor on equity and representation in the office of the Vice President of Equity, People, and Culture. Carl is a groundbreaking researcher in the areas of equity and inclusivity in education, immigration policies and settlement, community development, and critical ethnography. He's internationally renowned for tackling issues of racial inequity and building evidence-based policies and actions through innovative participatory research. Carl is a hugely prolific scholar. His scholarly output includes more than 20 books, over 130 book chapters and articles in journals, reports, reviews, and educational resources, and hundreds of presentations and workshops. With research that reaches a wide range of audiences, from scholars to policymakers to the general public, and that has undoubtedly un enhanced York's research repetition, Carl is most deserving of the 2021 PREA. Carl cannot join us today, unfortunately, but he has sent this note for me to read. Carl states, greetings all. It is with much appreciation that I accept the President's Research Impact Award and the recognitions pertaining to my research. Notwithstanding our context, I also acknowledge the assistance that I have received from colleagues, my faculty, and the university to enable the work. Sincerely, Carl. Over to you, Rebecca. Thanks, Mir. Getting to work alongside Carl for the last three or four years now on equity work, I'm in awe of his impact, and he's so well-deserving of this award. So now we're going to turn into uh, the, the video portions. We are going to be interspersing videos to celebrate the achievements of York University professors from both 2019 and 2020. So we have created four brief slideshows. Through each of the four video slideshows, we will honor the over 140 researchers who have won notable accolades over the past two years. Each one of these researchers have exemplified access, connectedness, excellence, and impact the four presidential pillars. 
Each video we'll be at will first spotlight one of the presidential pillars and then highlight researchers. Each researcher was asked to provide a photo or an image that represents the research they have done to support the awards they have won over the past two years. The first video will highlight some of the winners from 2019. It will also highlight the presidential pillar of access. Access. At York, we believe a diverse community enriches us culturally and intellectually. Our researchers must remove barriers and pursue scholarship so that all people can participate equally in society and take full advantage of what a university degree and its related experiences can enable. Black, Indigenous and people of colour, people with disabilities, members of the LGBTQ2 plus communities and other equity deserving groups need to be empowered to lead for a better tomorrow.
So with the end of that video, um, we will now move on to the next set of awards. The York University President Emerging Research Leadership Award recognizes two full-time faculty members within 10 years of their first academic appointment who have had a notable impact on their field and made a significant contribution to advancing the university's international reputation for research excellence while significantly and positively contributing to one or more aspects of the York University community's intellectual life. There are two winners of the Perla for 2020 and two winners of the Perla for 2021. To announce the first Perla winner, the 2020 Perla winner, I invite President Lent, Rhonda Lenton to read her remarks. Thank you, Becca. I am very pleased to present the first of two President's Emerging Research Leadership Awards for 2020 to Christopher Perry School of Kinesiology and Health Science, Faculty of Health. Christopher was selected for the award in the Engineering, Science, Technology, Health, and Biomedicine Cluster as a reflection of his outstanding leadership in and contribution to the field of exercise, physiology, met metabolism, and skeletal muscle health. Christopher established a human muscle biopsy lab at York, where he investigates the basic cellular mechanisms of muscle fitness and applies these discoveries toward developing novel therapies to treat muscle weakness disorders. In 2016, he was elected to serve as a director academic for the Canadian Society for Exercise Physiology, Canada's authority in exercise science and prescription. And in 2017, he received the Faculty of Health Research Award in the Early Career category. He has also received a variety of other internal and external awards and grants throughout his career. Please join me in congratulating Christopher and welcoming him to say a few words. Christopher? Thank you very much, President Linton. I feel very fortunate and grateful to receive this recognition. And I also thank the committee for their gracious, gracious consideration of our research team. Our research aims to understand the causes of muscle weakness and many diseases. Why do people feel weak when they have cancer or weak when they have muscular dystrophies or other conditions? We are a team of muscle physiologists with expertise in metabolism, and we apply this expertise to understand how metabolic dysregulation causes muscle weakness in these disorders. We then apply this understanding to guide new therapies that are ultimately aimed at preventing weakness and maintaining functional independence, much of what President Linton already said. Thank you. <laughs> Megan Hughes, Sophia Ramos, Patrick Turnbull, Ali Nejatbach, Catherine Bellissimo, Luca Delfini, Shivam Gandhi, Laura Castellani, and others. These are the students and trainees who infuse ingenuity, passion, and hard work into this research. They grow into leaders and I'm very proud of them. Likewise, our research impact is much stronger because of our collaborators at multiple institutions, as well as our clinical and industrial partners. The support we receive from the School of Kinesiology and Health Science, the Faculty of Health, VPRI, and the Muscle Health Research Center has been essential and transformative to our team. We are very grateful for the continued support and we are excited for the opportunities that remain so on behalf of our team, I do thank you for this recognition. And I hope to use this as an opportunity to raise awareness of the impact of cancer and muscular dystrophies on the quality of life of those afflicted with these conditions. So thank you very much. Congratulations, Dr. Perry. Now I'll introduce you to Dr. Asif again to, to do the 2020 Perla, the other 2020 Perla Award winner. Thank you, Rebecca. It is now my pleasure to introduce the winner of the 2021 President's Emerging Research Leadership, also referred to as Perla. Puya Rezai, the Son School of Engineering, is the recipient of the Perla Award, Cluster One, Engineering, Science, Technology, Health and Biomedicine. This honor demonstrates the complexity and relevance of his research in utilizing science and engineering concepts built on the fundamentals of fluid dynamics, material engineering, electronics, and microbiology to tackle 
pressing global challenges in both the health and safety sector and in the field of bioengineering. Huya's impact on his discipline is illustrated by his receipt of funding as a principal investigator that spans tri-council, industry, and provincial sources. His research has resulted in 47 journal papers, seven book chapters, two issued, and two submitted United States patents and 50 conference papers. You may recall his achievements were recognized by the prestigious Early Researcher Award in 2019. Huya provides leadership in his research program, as well as his mentorship and supervision. His engagement has raised York's research profile to a great degree. Please join me in welcoming Huya to the East stage to say a few words. Um, thank you, Professor Asif, for uh, the card, uh, kind introduction. And thank you, York University and the awards committee for uh, selecting me as the recipient of the Perla Award. I'm really honored and fortunate to receive uh, this award, and I really appreciate it. Uh, this achievement is mainly, of course, due to the hard work of my undergraduate, uh, graduate, and postdoctoral students, as well as the funding agencies and all of my collaborators. Uh, I'm sure without them, I could never arrive at this stage, and I really appreciate all of their efforts and dedications to uh, research. Um, I would also like to thank my uh, colleagues and mentors at Lausanne uh, School of Engineering who have provided me with their kind support uh, to perform research and uh, to solve fundamental and applied problems in the area of bioengineering. Uh, uh, another great appreciation goes to my family, uh, especially my wife, who uh, they have been always extremely accommodating and supportive in this journey and their sacrifices have been always the main reason behind uh, what I could have accomplished uh, by today. And one of the main reasons, of course, that I kind of gain energy on a daily basis to continue being useful and, and do research. Thank you again. I, will, I look forward to uh, a future that hopefully will be more productive. Thank you. Congratulations, Kuya. We'll now transition into the next video that will highlight the remaining winners from 2019. It will also highlight the presidential pillar of connectedness. Connectedness. We live in a world where it is increasingly important to be connected to one another, to our communities and neighbors, to the world around us and to our values. We are building and strengthening multi-sector partnerships that allow us to face global issues like climate change, inequality and poverty, and the refugee crisis. Technology and globalization are enhancing global research networks and facilitating pedagogical innovation in ways that are transforming how students and scholars learn and access information.
you know, looking through those pictures, always seeing all the smiling researchers and all the amazing pictures is it just uh, that music. What a, what a peppy, <laughs> really energizing. So now um, we'd like to congratulate all of those 2019 winners and transition now to the second half of the Perla Award winners. And I'll turn it over to Professor Lenton, President Lenton. <laughs> yes, okay, thank you. Um, it's an honor to present the second President's Emerging Research Leadership Award for 2020 to Theodore Noseworthy from the Schulich School of Business. Theo was selected for the award in appreciation for his extraordinary leadership in and contribution to the fields of marketing and consumer studies. As the Canada Research Chair in Entrepreneurial Innovation and the Public Good, Theodore developed insights that inform business and policymakers about the benefits of properly communicated innovation. In 2012, he was appointed Scientific Director of the Gnosis. Innovation Design and Consumption Laboratory, a world-class behavioral lab intended to foster innovative research into consumption, consumer behavior, and design. Congratulations, Theo. Unfortunately, CEO was not able to join us this afternoon, but he has shared a few words with us, which I will read now. He says, I am extremely honored to be a recipient of the President's Emerging Research Leadership Award. It is a humbling recognition to be included amongst an incredibly talented group of scholars here at York. The university's commitment to supporting scholarly work and to engaging with key stakeholders has enabled an environment where faculty have not only the tools, but also the networks needed to compete on a global stage. Of course, this accomplishment is not something I have achieved alone. I have been fortunate to work alongside impressive colleagues and amazing graduate students. This recognition is as much theirs as it is mine. I will continue to do my part to promote research at York, and I look forward to the day when we can celebrate in person. Thank you. So now we'll move on to Vice President Amir Essi to announce the 2021 Perla winner. Thank you, Rebecca. It is now my pleasure to announce the next 2021 Perla winner. Rebecca Bessett Gunter, Faculty of Health, is a recipient of the Perla Award, Cluster Two, Social Sciences, Art and Design, Humanities, Business, Law and Education. This award reflects a leadership in the field of research on the promotion of physical activity among children with disabilities. Rebecca has developed an original program of research that has made contributions to the fields of behavior change psychology, physical activity promotion, health communication and knowledge translation. She's a hugely prolific scholar. Since joining York, she has published 42 papers in some leading journals, and she has shared her research at conferences throughout Canada and internationally. In 2018, you may recall, she earned the prestigious Early Researcher Award. Rebecca has secured significant research funding in competitive peer-reviewed grants. Her mentorship impact is evidenced by the success of her students many of whom have had their research published in leading journals. Rebecca has built international linkages. Her engagement has truly raised the research profile of York University. Please join me in welcoming Rebecca to the East stage to say a few words. Thank you so much, Amir. And thank you, President Lenton, for this really special honor. I'm sincerely grateful to be recognized alongside such outstanding researchers. I'd like to thank Joe Baker and Chris Perry, uh, not only for nominating me for this award, but also for their support and mentorship throughout my time at York. Uh, thank you also to the nomination committee who put the package together and the award committee who recognized this important work. Our research programs are built on the backs of our gra dedicated graduate students who inspire and challenge us daily. I have been so incredibly lucky to work with the most outstanding students over the past eight years. 
I am indebted to them for their commitment to not only research excellence, but to the translation of our research into impact among families of children with disabilities. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank a few other special people. Uh, in reflecting over the past few days, I have thought about how lucky I have been to be supported by an amazing group of women and colleagues who have encouraged and supported me throughout the ups and downs of an academic career. Thank you to Kathleen Martin Guinness, Amy Latimer Chung, Kelly Arbor Nicotopoulos, Jennifer Tomasoni, and Jessica Fraser Thomas. Now more than ever, I feel so grateful to have support from women who understand the challenges of juggling motherhood and academia. It is so rare that we as academics have the opportunity to publicly thank our families for putting up with us, so I wanted to take this opportunity. Uh, as we all know, research is not a Monday to Friday, nine to five job, and our families make sacrifices to support us. I would like to um, thank my wonderful husband, Justin, and my son, Benjamin, for their unwavering support and love and patience and believing in me no matter what. Lastly, I would like to acknowledge SHRC and the Ontario Ministry of Research and Innovation for their financial support for this research. And I'd like to recognize every single family who has participated in our many research studies. I will never take for granted that these surely busy and tired parents take time to support our research projects. I'm committed to ensuring that our work translates into meaningful impact in these families' lives. Thank you, President Lenton, for recognizing the importance of this work and motivating me to continue my pursuit of informing evidence-based strategies to support and promote physical activity for children with disabilities. Thank you. Congratulations, Rebecca. The third video we'll transition into will now uh, showcase the winners, some of the winners from 2020. It will also highlight the presidential pillar of excellence. Excellence. York is a well-established leader in interdisciplinary and transdisciplinary academic and research programs. Innovation and entrepreneurship are central to our efforts in bridging research application and student engagement, and is part of a broader strategy to provide hands-on learning activities in every program. Our scholars lead exciting programs of research that span time and space, real-world researcher opportunities that enhance the student learning experience.
just love seeing all of these videos. A uh, hearty congratulations again to all of the honorees for, that we celebrated in the, for the first half of our 2020 video. We now turn to the final awards of the afternoon, the 2020 and 2021 President's Research Excellence Award. The York University President's Research Excellence Award recognizes senior, established, full-time, active faculty members at the rank of professor with distinguished scholarly achievements who have had notable impact on their field and made a significant contribution to advancing the university's international reputation for research excellence while significantly and positively contributing to one or more aspects of the York community's intellectual life. President Linton. It is a privilege to present the 2020 President's Research Excellence Award to Eric Hessel, Department of Physics and Astronomy, Faculty of Science. Eric was selected for this award to honor his exceptional contributions to atomic, molecular, and optical physics. Eric is the York Research Chair in Atomic Physics and a York Research Distinguished Research Professor. He has led numerous research projects that have made far-reaching contributions to the understanding of the laws of physics. In 2019, Eric led a study published in the esteemed journal Science, which found a new measurement for the size of the proton at just under one trillionth of a millimeter. The study confirmed the 2010 finding that the proton is smaller than previously believed. The year before, he led a team that achieved the most precise measurement of the fine structure of helium ever recorded. Please join me in congratulating Eric on this extraordinary achievement and welcoming him to say a few words. Thank you, President Lenton. Um, it's a great honor to receive this award. And, uh, I guess it's a chance to look back um, at my 30 years at York University. 30 years ago, I was interviewed at York University, just a fresh PhD, and uh, York decided to take a chance on me and, uh, and hire me into the physics department. And frankly, I took a chance on York University. Um, I was in the States doing well there, but I wanted to do independent research. And uh, with some trepidation, I moved to Canada and I moved to York University to do my research. And uh, I just have glowing things to say about Canada and about York University and its ability to uh, support research, to support the research that I've wanted to do over the last 20, 28 years since, I, since I've arrived here. Um, whenever I've needed funding to do a project, um, Canada has come through. Whenever I needed support uh, from my deans, they've come through. And uh, I'm just so pleased that I made that decision uh, 30 years ago to, uh, to join New York University. Um, so I would like to thank, of course, all of my collaborators. Um, I've had collaborators around the world um, and especially collaborators within my department at York University um, who've, who've uh, helped greatly in, in doing this research that, uh, that, <clears throat> that President Lenton talked about. Uh, and we finished measuring the, the size, of, physical size of a, of a proton. Now we're trying to fig figure out what the shape of an electron is, and those both have big, big implications on, uh, on what the laws of physics are. And so we're trying to figure out uh, fundamentally what the laws of physics are. Mostly I'd like to thank my students and postdocs. I mean, they are the people who really do the research as all of you know, and, uh, and um, they've come up with so many ideas and worked so hard. And, uh, and carried experiments from, from conception to completion. And I'd like to thank them. And I'd like to thank, uh, again, York for giving me this uh, wonderful award. Congratulations, Eric. I'll now turn it over to Vice President Tissi to announce the 2021 President's Research Excellence Award winner. Thank you, Rebecca. It is a privilege and great pleasure to announce the winner of the 2021 President's Research Excellence Award, also known as PRIA. Jennifer Heinemann, Faculty of Environmental and Urban Change, 
is the recipient of the Priya Award. This distinction is in recognition of her outstanding accomplishments and leadership as an internationally recognized scholar of human displacement, humanitarian response, feminist geopolitics, and refugee subjectivity. As noted previously in December 2020, she was appointed Associate Vice President Research in the Office of the Vice President Research and Innovation. Jennifer has proven herself to be an exceptional leader in building research programs at York and in training the next generation of scholars. From 2013 to 2019, she served as director of York Center for Refugee Studies, supporting faculty to, complete, to compete for funds to facilitate innovative research and publish in top peer-reviewed journals and books. Jennifer is an exceptional scholar whose list of publications is extensive. She has conducted community-based research, applied work for the United Nations and governments, and in fact, she is one of the York's most highly cited scholars in the social sciences and humanities. Please join me in welcoming Jennifer to the E stage to say a few words. Thank you so much, Jamer. Good afternoon, everyone. It's an honor to be receiving this award um, in large part because there are so many deserving and extraordinary scholars at York. So this really is an honor. I won't deny it's a little bit awkward since I now chair the committee that organizes this event. But uh, to that point, I wanna thank my colleagues in the new Faculty of Environmental and Urban Change for nominating me last fall. Uh, so thank you, I'll emphasize the last fall. Um, York has loomed large in my research career, beginning when I was just a, a visiting doctoral student. Um, I also had a postdoc here and then I became of course professor, but I, I stopped and I worked at three other universities along the way. York is far and above my favorite research home and personal home where I've learned three important lessons. So ever so briefly, the first one, perhaps the most important, the value of team research. As a postdoc in the 1990s, I was invited to join an international research team here at York, led by uh, now York Emerita Professor Winona Giles, the Women in Conflict Zone Network fundamentally transformed uh, the way I thought about research and, and the ways, the possibilities for, uh, for research based on collaboration across borders and conflict zones. So that network continues uh, to this day. A second example, an important one, before I ever arrived at York in 2009 as a professor, I was invited to join another York research cluster led by Emerita Professor uh, Susan McGrath. And once again, I learned how to build international research networks and how that matters to the questions we ask and the ways in which we envision research possibilities. So thank you to Susan and colleagues from, from Calcutta to Johannesburg. In the slide you see here um, is, is another team, the research team that I currently lead at York um, on a project about private refugee sponsorship. Three are York graduate students. I'll introduce them in one second, but each is an emerging scholar and a catalyst of change in their own right, uh, working in various communities as well. Um, upper left corner, you'll see uh, Biftu Youssef, uh, then Joanna Reynolds, Anna Perky, and Dawit Demos. So I'm honored to be able, as others have mentioned, to work with such fine and um, uh, brilliant graduate students. Um, just as a matter of coincidence, we had our first paper published today. So the, the one in the kind of fuzzy writing at the bottom of the slide just came out. So we're very pleased about that. Finally, or sorry, the second lesson is the importance of research culture, which again, I hadn't realized until I, come, I, I came to York. The Center for Refugee Studies was one of my intellectual homes upon arrival. And it was a place where you could brainstorm, you could share ideas in this generative context of trust, creativity, and constructive critique. So I had not experienced that before, and it has been formative to, to so much of what I've done in the last decade. Um, and it will be formative in the years to come as well. The final lesson uh, is that York um, is the world in a university. And to, to all of you who work or know someone or know the university, this is, this is no surprise. We have more students from more places um, than any other post-secondary institution in the world, in my view. I don't actually have the data on hand to back that up. Some have called Toronto the world in a city. And so I would say that York is the world in a university. My research being concerned with people on the move under conditions 
not of their own making, specifically people displaced um, from, from maybe their, their country of origin. Uh, the, being working at York and in Toronto, which is a city hosting diasporas from all over the world, this has profoundly cha uh, shaped my research. And as I said, it will, it will shape the research in years to come. So in closing, I express my deepest thanks to colleagues, including the students and the postdocs with whom I work and the community collabor collaborators who have taught me so much over the years. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Jennifer. And I promised that I would also reiterate for Jennifer that her nomination was completely separate to her coming into the Vice President's Research and Innovation Office. Um, I wanna congratulate all our 2020 award winners and invite our panelists to join President Lenten for a toast. Just to be clear, do you want me to give the toast right now? I think, did I, I think maybe I, did I skip the last video? <laughs> I can't remember. Just wondering if the events crew remembers if I yes. did the- Sorry, the Becca, we have skipped one video, so if yes. you don't mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just making sure Rhonda's paying attention, you see. Um, so, sorry, my apologies. Uh, I was thinking, wow, we went through that quick. The, the fourth video, uh, our final video of the afternoon is the, 20, the remaining 2020 winners. It will also highlight the presidential pillar of impact and then we will come back for those anxious for the toast. Impact. York's impact on the world is the product of increased access, connectedness, and excellence. By opening the university's doors to all eligible students, broadening and deepening our ties to the communities we serve through the research we do, and constantly striving to push an agenda of achieving a just and equitable society, York makes a positive impact.
sorry if my thirst for an, a, a toast made us almost skip that video. Now I can actually introduce you back to President Wanda London to join in for a celebratory toast. Thank you so much, Becca. I have to say I found the videos absolutely incredible and, and having the opportunity to listen um, to those who were able to attend. It's inspiring to just hear um, and understand the diversity of the impactful research that's being done at this university. I, I am really wishing that we could be doing this in person. I think I'm done with the virtual um, celebrations. On the other hand, I'm grateful that we have been able to come together. What a great job um, that the folks have done so that we could uh, do this virtual acknowledgement of our research award winners from 2020 and 2021. So if you are able, I would ask that you do raise your glass. This is a wine glass, but it's just not lemon juice. Um, just wanna, don't want you to think I'm drinking in the middle of the day, but you should feel free. Um, I want you all to raise your glass, bottle, mug in a toast to all of today's winners, as well as our nominees, the research leaders, and indeed all of the researchers across York who are working together and with colleagues around the globe to advance our understanding of the world and to find creative solutions to the most pressing challenges that we face. On behalf of the entire York community, I want to thank you all for your hard work, for your passion, your dedication, and wish you all continued success in the years ahead. Cheers. And before we leave today, a final thank you to the many people who had a hand in organizing today's event. Incredibly well done. It's a significant undertaking to adapt events to these virtual formats. And I hope you all agree that it was a great success. Thank you, merci, miigwech, and take care. Thank you, Rhonda and Amir for your presentations. Thank you to all the speakers. Um, like Rhonda said, these types of events cannot be done without so many people in the background. Uh, I wanna thank the York University Research Awards Planning Committee. It was the first year doing this. A particular shout out to Andrew Castillo who worked day and night to create those slideshows that we all got to enjoy. We're also grateful to the Senate Awards Committee, which is a pan-university committee made up of faculty, students, and staff members. It was that group who generously gave their time to carefully adjudicate all of the outstanding files to help decide upon the recommendations for the President's Research Awards. It's a very challenging job. And for those researchers who were nominated but did not win, I want to extend my congratulations on your nomination. It is abundantly clear how every nominee was deserving of acknowledgement. Final thanks to our ASL and French language interpreters, as well as our closed captioners that ensured our event was accessible to all. And thank you to all of you for attending today. We encourage you to stay connected with research at York University. Please follow us on Twitter at YU Research. Come to our website, www.yorku.ca at research, uh, uh, front slash research. Read Brainstorm, a special edition of YFAL that for compelling stories about the world leading policy relevant work of York academics and researchers across all disciplines that you can get on the website. We have our two minute, three minute, three questions video series where you can watch uh, and learn about our other researchers more on our YouTube playlist. And don't miss our latest graphic animated whiteboards for our strategic research plan, existing research strength and additional areas of research opportunity. Thank you everybody for joining us and I hope you have a great day.